Howdy, boys and girls. Um, welcome to the condensation counter. Um, yeah, and today we're going to be looking at a Diary of a Wimpy Kid Christmas, Cabin Fever. Bef before you say anything like, oh, this came out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, it kind of did. Um, for me, personally, um, I've been watching these Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies since they've been coming out. Uh, every time a new one comes out, I check it out. Before this channel, I would review the movies on the podcast that I have with my friend, uh, the Applecast. But since that podcast is going to be no more pretty soon, we're going to make another one. Stay tuned for that. So, the actual movie itself, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Christmas Cabin Fever. There's not a whole lot to say, really. Um, it's another Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie. It's it's just kind of unremarkable, uh, kind of forgettable. Um, I think this actually takes the biggest like deviation from the other movies. Uh, the the other ones basically just kind of carbon copied the books, but without adding any charm that the that the that the books had. Um, with this one, they do the exact opposite. Yeah, they basically just use the name of the book. I, I haven't read Cabin Fever in a while, so there could be more overlapping stories. But from what I remember, this, uh, yeah, this movie doesn't really follow the book at all. This movie's basically a Christmas movie with a diary of a wimpy kid coat of paint. And, <laughs> you know, it doesn't match the books in any way or anything like that, which, again, is fine. But this is also in the same series of the other two, which are carbon copies of the book, which is what I would expect it to be. So the fact that it deviated so wildly and gave more of a Christmas story than a Diary of a Wimpy Kid story. Uh, it was just a little off-putting. But another thing that was off-putting was Craig Heffley. I know that he's kind of an unlikable, manipulative little piece of shit, but it's just stepped up to an unlikable degree in this movie. He's just a huge asshole to rally, and that's never fun. Greg's the main character, but he's probably the least likable in the entire movie. Which is a bit of a problem, but also the rest of his family is just kind of uninteresting. They're they're all one one emotion, one basic character idea, and that's all they are. But uh, yeah, overall, it's, it, this one's just gonna be quick, just like a little giving my thoughts about the movie. Um, it's <laughs> severely uninteresting, and I just would not really recommend it. But yeah, I'll make another one of these when the next Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie comes out. So uh, yeah. See ya.